Hey, welcome back to another episode of Maintenance with Mike. So as you can see today, another beautiful day in beautiful British Columbia. Uh, so if you haven't seen my last video, you should go back and watch that one. It talks about two projects that we're going to be working on this summer. Uh, one of them we're going to be working on today. Um, the one, I will put a link to it uh, either here or here. Uh, so you can go back and watch that video first before this one. So this is the second part, uh, I guess, of the, um, the digging at the sea can. So today, there's nothing left to do but dig. So uh, today we are going to hopefully set the, pri the tripod up on the sea can and uh, we'll get you a nice uh, bird's eye view and we're gonna start to uh, dig and see how that goes. Uh, as we progress and get further along and a whole bunch of dirt removed, um, we'll be using the laser again to uh, check the elevations and see if we've removed enough overburden uh, to get down to the, uh, to the grade. So one of the issues that I think we're going to run into is we're going to have a problem with dirt management basically is, is as we dig down that three feet at the 20 foot mark or 25 foot mark, we're going to end up with a whole bunch of, of soil and dirt. Um, I just can't leave it there. So we have to move it. So in order to move it, you may as well screen it. So I'm thinking probably the next video, on this sort of project i'm gonna to have to make some sort of a screening grizzly or something like that a temporary unit maybe at a two by six and some hog cage uh, just to be able to dump uh, into it and and separate soil from tops or dirt from topsoil um, because i don't want to start wasting topsoil and moving that around i'll, I'll make a pile of topsoil that we can uh, use in other locations of the yard and then we'll have another pile of fill right that we can use in other areas of the yard that are low and stuff that we want to build up but dirt management is going to be a problem because we only have so much area to work there and i just can't move the dirt out of the way without actually moving it to a new location so we may as well screen it so anyway let's go down and uh, have a look at uh, where we're at here and let's get digging
guess that's another reason why I have an action camera now, not a digital SLR. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Anyway, let's continue.
this is kind of where we're at for sample digging here to see how it's uh, how it's sort of progressing. You can see now this a little better the slope now down to the sea can. What we're trying to achieve here. So right now we are from here. We are thirty. Well. Yeah, we're three feet. So we're we're definitely down the three feet that we need to go. Now we just have to keep progressing uh, back towards the uh, the sea can. But um, and of course I cleaned up a bit of the brush over there so I can get in and cut those two trees down a little easier and then maybe clean up all that debris. But uh, you can see the pile of dirt that we got here already now. Uh, from just that small area, that's only six feet. Six feet wide sort of thing is what we've dug out of there, down to the three foot mark. We've got quite a big pile of dirt here. So we need to start, uh, we need to start moving that somewhere. Okay, so I think that's gonna do it for, uh, for today. I think we've done some good exploratory digging figured out um, how well it's gonna go I guess um, as I had stated earlier in the video at the beginning we're gonna have a problem with dirt management obviously you can see already we've got piles of dirt here um, let you show you where we're we're at so we've got this this dug out that's the three foot mark as you remember that rock was the 25 foot mark that we measured off the sea can so that's that's definitely far enough but We've got a lot of overburden here now, piled that is gonna have to go somewhere. So like I said, dirt management, we're gonna have to build some sort of screening device and uh, get this out of here. But um, I pushed a lot of sort of dirt around here, uh, cleaned up a lot of this area so I can get in and cut these these trees down uh, so they're not a risk to uh, to the implements. And I've actually, um, I've actually built a little bit of a trail here. So. Um, from the, the pad, which is here, you'll be able to drive off the pad now and drive right up. This is just a fun trail with a quad, a quad where we have an upper burning pit up here. So yeah, built a little road here. Got a bunch of old timbers that I, there's some water, <clears throat> there's some water in this area here. It gets pretty wet pretty soupy so they're just some old timbers that uh, have sort of spread out here that you can get up onto and then I'm gonna have to thin out a couple of these uh, poplars uh, that are here and then the other burning pits like right there a bunch of old brush there which is uh, close to the uh, woodshed so yeah I'll thin a couple of these out of here just so you can get through and that would made a nice little loop so that was something fun as well Anyway, that's it for today. I appreciate you hanging out for a bit. Um, if you like these videos, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Maybe share them with a family member or friend. And we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.